Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to change scooter bearings. So, what you're going to need for this, first of all, you need an Allen key shape like this, preferably an old one that you don't mind getting bent because you're going to be hitting it with a hammer. You need your wheel, replacement bearing. You need your axle as well, it has to be one of these type of axles, not the ones that have Allen key on both ends. You, you can either use an Allen key on and spanner, but it is much easier to use two ratchets with the attachments on the end and also your hammer. The first thing you're going to want to do is to remove the old bearings from the wheel. To do this what you need is your wheel, your own key, some duct tape or telesella tape so that when you're hitting the bearings out they don't pop, they can fall out somewhere and your hammer. What you want to do first is to get your allen key, put it inside the wheel and get it up against the edge of the space that's in between the bearings. And then what you're going to do with the hammer is knock it to the side so that you can get the spacer to the side and then knock the bearings out. Not quite to the side yet, so I'll give it another few hits. As you can see now, the spacer is slightly to the side, so you'll be able to hit the edge of the bearing to knock it out. Put your allen key on the edge of the bearing, and then hit it out with the hammer, and it falls out straight away, as well as the spacer. Now you can do the other side. They won't always come out that easily, but these have been changed before, so it came out fairly easily. Now you can put everything aside, now we're getting on to putting the new bearings in. Still need your spacer. If you look closely at the spacer, it focuses. Come on. See, I've slightly scratched the inside of it. And if that happens, you've got a round file like this. Just put it on and smooth the inside of it down. And that way your axle will go smoothly through it. What you're going to need to put the new bearings in is of course the new bearings. These aren't new, they're just ones that aren't already in my wheel. The spacer, your axle and your nut. Now we're on to putting the new bearings in. So what you're going to need is your new bearing, spacer, your bolt, your nut, your wheel. And if you have two ratchets, you can use them as it is much easier. But if you don't, just use a normal Allen key and spanner. It's just a little bit harder. First, you want to put your first bearing lightly in on one side, just so it won't fall out. Then put your spacer in, then the other bearing. Next, what you want to do, put your bolt all the way through. This will probably push the bearings out again, but that's okay. Put your nut on, get your both of your ratchets or Alan Keen span if you don't. And then you can start to tighten them. What this will do is it will push the nut onto the bolt and as it does that, when they get closer together it will push your bearings in. It's a much better way than knocking them in because it can damage your bearings doing that. Just make sure you get it straight so you can see here. It's not straight. So I'm going to have to undo a bit and then get it back in straight. Now that your bearings are just about to go in, unfortunately for me, this isn't long enough. So I'm going to have to switch everything over and then use a normal allen. I've switched it over now and I've got an allen uh, socket long enough. I can continue to put the bolt through. As you can see, this is pushing the bearings in nice and softly. Obviously if you have a press, it's best use it to use a press. But this is just a much better way than hitting them in. Get it tight. Not too tight because you might burn split the bearings. And then come back off all the way. Now you have a new new bearings in your wheel. These spin horribly because they're old. 
but it should be brand new, nice and fresh again. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.